Welcome back to the Bloomington Breakfast Club. We have quite a show for you this morning. Since today is our TBBC Valentine's Day special, we decided to bring an original IUS TV dating game show from the early 2000s called Big Red Love. The dating show made by Hoosiers for Hoosiers. So, I'm Gabrielle Valenson, your host and matchmaker this morning, and I am here to assist my co-host and now bachelorette, Juliana Mary, in finding love this Valentine's Day. So welcome to the show, Jules. Things are going to go a bit differently this morning. Um, not our usual show. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. It's kind of on my <laughs> bucket list to be on The Bachelor, so we'll see how this goes. There you go. <laughs> so nervous, excited? Definitely excited. OK, great. <laughs> so let's get to know Jules a little more. Your three lucky bachelors are over there waiting to try <laughs> and win over your heart. Here are three fun facts about Juliana. So, She's a self-proclaimed morning person. I mean, we kind of have to be when we do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she loves to dance, and she loves to travel the world. What are some exciting places you've been to recently? So last summer, I studied abroad in India, and I also got to go to St. Lucia. Oh, wow. So Very pretty exotic. Fun. <laughs> and what do you normally look for in a guy? Well, Gab, you know me. I need someone who's going to keep up with my busy schedule and kind of match my energy, but also isn't afraid of a little adventure. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Let's go meet the boys. so much for coming on the show this morning, guys. We're so happy to have you. Let's jump right into it. Say your name, where you're from, and a fun fact. Bachelor number one. I'm Ryan, I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I spent two years as a surf instructor. Very cool. Okay. Um, Bachelor number two. I'm Sam, I'm from West Lafayette, Indiana, and I've had prolonged eye contact with a bear in the wild. Very interesting. Bachelor number three. I'm Jeremy. I'm from Warsaw, Indiana, and I've been skydiving. Jules, you have you have some really fun guys over here with some really fun facts. Thank you guys. So now the game rules are simple. Juliana has a list of questions to ask our lucky bachelors. And each of these fine young men will have a chance to answer the same question and try to win over Juliana's heart. In the end, Juliana will choose her favorite bachelor based on her favorite answers. Are we ready, everybody? Ready. ready. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing that I want to know, what qualities do you look for most in a partner? So, bachelor number one, what's your answer? It's very important to me that someone can make me laugh and that someone is adventurous and not afraid to take some risks. Bachelor number two, what's your answer? Um, I would say I look for, the thing I look for most in a partner is someone who's just willing to make fun of themselves, like willing to let themselves be the butt of the joke. Bachelor number three, what's your answer? Oh, I definitely need someone that's outgoing and has a good taste in music and someone that can make me laugh. Hmm, okay. Hey, Jules. Well, <laughs> we'll see. So the next thing I want to know is what is your best pickup line? Bachelor number one, what's your answer? On a scale of one to 10, you're a nine because I'm the one you need. <laughs> wow, bachelor number two, <laughs> what's your answer? It's less of a pickup line and more of just like a proposition. Do you want the comfiest hoodie you've ever worn? Okay, okay, bachelor <laughs> number three, what's your answer? Are you religious? Because you're the answer to all my prayers. Oh, <laughs> oh, that last one. I love that, that not, not too cheesy, but Okay, the next thing I want to know is where would our first date be in Bloomington? Bachelor number one, answer. First date would probably be a nice picnic at Griffey Lake and then maybe dinner at Osteria Raga. There, and they did make an appearance on the show. Wow, someone watches the show. Yes, <laughs> bachelor number two, what's your answer? 
Um, I would probably ask you what your favorite food is and attempt to cook that in my own home and then take you to a nice park where we try to find some dogs to pet. Oh, oh my gosh, I love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number three, what's your answer? If it were my choice, I'd say we'd go cliff diving because um, it brings out some adrenaline and it makes you bond closer, quicker. Oh, oh my gosh, you will see a very wow. different side of me because that terrifies <laughs> me, but... <laughs> um, okay, next so question. You have to be ambitious, so what is your dream job? Bachelor number one. My dream job would to be a sports writer for ESPN. Ooh. Bachelor number two, what's your answer? Um, it would either be owning my own company or working as a director of photography. Wow. And bachelor number three, what's your answer? Um, let's see, I think maybe being a sports agent would be pretty great. Okay, Jules, you've gotten a chance to hear from all of our bachelors. Now it's time to choose your favorite guy based on his answers. So, will it be bachelor number one, Ryan? <laughs> bachelor number two, Sam? <sighs> or bachelor number three, Jeremy? We will find out who Juliana likes best when we come back. Don't go anywhere, Hoosiers. Welcome back to the Bloomington Breakfast Club's special Valentine's Day edition of Big Red Love. If you are just joining us now, we're very happy to have you, and we are about to find out which lucky bachelor Juliana chose. So Jules, who is it gonna be? Okay, so it was a really, really hard decision, but um, I said I love adventure, and I really wanna go cliff diving, so contestant number three, you're the winner. Yay, yes. congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have our winner. Now before you get to meet your perfect match, Jules, let's have you meet our other two lovely contestants, Ryan and Sam. You guys can walk on over. Congrats. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for being on the show. No <laughs> Thanks for coming on. I'm so sorry. It's nothing personal. <laughs> I would have picked um, them too. Okay, good. Well, I just... I um, hope that you guys find your perfect match this Valentine's season, but thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Jules, here is your Hi. bachelor. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so when we come back, don't miss Juliana and Jeremy get their fortunes read by Scott Kellogg, a special Ooh. Bloomington tarot card reader. He will be joining us in studio, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Valenson. And I'm Juliana Mary. And you're watching the Bloomington Breakfast Club. Be sure to tune in every Monday morning for the latest on all things Bloomington. And if you're interested in joining our TBBC crew, please reach out to Bryce at breef at iu.edu. We are now joined with Scott Kellogg, who has been giving tarot and supernatural readings since 1988. Welcome to the studio. Thanks for joining us. I'm glad to be here. We're so happy to have you. Um, so before we get started, tell us a little bit about how and why you started doing tarot readings. Sure. Well, I met my wife, Karen, in 1988, oh. and uh, she had a deck of cards that a friend had given her. So I was immediately intrigued by the images and kind of they suggested a story and um, that just engaged me on a fundamental mm -hmm. level. 
you met your wife. Valentine's Day special. This all yes. this all is coming together. <laughs> okay, so Perfect. we these two they just uh, that Jeremy just won our little game show. <laughs> so can you give them a little reading? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Okay, <laughs> so exciting. Do a little shuffling here. It's good to um, kind of randomize the cards. Can't be stuck in the deck. No, <laughs> okay. you can't. Stuck in the deck. That <laughs> would. The deck stacks itself, I think. It's oh, I love this. Is very cool. So they have pictures on them. They do have pictures on them, and the deck itself is uh, a 78 card deck that's divided into oh. suits in a very particular way that got uh, kind of formalized in the 15th century in southern. Italy. Anyway, uh, so you have you're the winning contestants. I am. I guess <laughs> I am. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we're just gonna do a little uh, reading about your relationship as it <laughs> unfolds. Um, this is just information. There's nothing set in stone. You have the um, you have free will and you have the agency to choose your own adventure, as it were. So like. There is nothing here that is um, frightening or somehow going to say what's going to happen in the future. It's just information. So the okay. current situation for you two is that this is a chance for you to develop a, a new uh, kind of relationship that is independent of what you've experienced in the past or with your family situation. Mm. Ooh, so this okay. will give you an opportunity to kind of um, let go of what you've learned about relationships and uh, maybe usher in something new that is unique okay. to the two of you. Okay. So all that's right, the situation, right. the primary challenge to what's going on here is that you may feel uh, trapped Ooh. by your <laughs> <Wow>. um, <laughs> trapped by your social conditioning or programming. Oh, uh, no, society no. trains us to behave in certain ways, uh, and you're being given an opportunity to like move beyond that programming and come into something um, with new eyes, with a new perspective. I like wow. that. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I think that yeah. there's actually there's some truth to that for sure. I mean, well, society you know. has certain ideals, and it's all in the cards. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, uh, what is kind of moving in to both of your lives as a result of having met in a kind of unusual way <laughs> <laughs> is uh, you have the opportunity to be. Uh, you specifically, as the Queen of Wands, this card speaks to oh, you. Wow. You, <laughs> have, you have the opportunity to kind of step into your maturity as an adult human woman. Wow. Um, the Queen of Wands <laughs> is creative, passionate, fiery, interesting. Wow. So that's, that's cool. what you're bringing to the table. What's moving out of both of your lives at this time is kind of a, a boredom with hmm. how your romantic uh, life has been, I want to okay. say, in the last four months. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. you know, this is... Fair enough, fair enough. This, <laughs> is, this is giving you an opportunity to do something that's just out of your comfort zone and really out of what you would ordinarily experience. New experiences, okay, I'm all about yeah. it, all about it. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> cliff diving, we're going <laughs> cliff diving. Well, yeah, <laughs> there you go, I mean, that's, that's amazing. That's definitely not boring. <laughs> So yeah, that's just the situation, kind of like what's leaving and what's coming in. And uh, I'll draw one more card from the bottom, and this will be like, what is the lesson to be learned here? Or like, what's, what's your takeaway from this experience, okay. you know? And that is um, Ace of Cups is a new, mm. really it's a new opportunity for you to develop a real emotional connection with another person. Very cool. The, ca the card is reversed, which is an indicator that you may have some initial challenges doing this. Huh. And I think this is a callback to just kind of getting out of what you've done in the past and, and trying to step into something that's a new way to have a relationship in a, like wow. a genuine, yeah. authentic <laughs> yeah. way. It's well, got to be genuine if it's going to cool. last. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, no, you're so right. Very so is this cool. information useful to you? 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think so. All right. <laughs> yeah, this is so, like, unlike anything else I've ever done, and this is so, so cool. People don't normally get to uh, do this right after they meet. They right? do not. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, usually, <laughs> usually it's not very yeah. untraditional, yes. for sure. But this has been so cool, definitely useful information. Tell us where people can find you. My uh, website is scottkellogg.com. I'm also on social media, uh, either SK Tarot or Scott Kellogg Tarot. It's, it's pretty easy. And you're located here in Bloomington? Yeah. Great. I have an office Very downtown. Cool. Wonderful. So make sure you guys check out Scott if you would like to get your cards read. And thank you so much for tuning in to our Valentine's Day special. And we will see you all next week.